Yes, absolutely. Hopefully I'm still in one piece. What? <laughs> Taking this opportunity was certainly, um, I guess, a, a brave one. Um, I had to weigh up a lot of lot of things, but the opportunity to come in and build a real program, reset it, build it from scratch again, and uh, and hopefully take this uh, team forward is um, you know too good an opportunity and something I'm really looking forward to doing. Chloe, still leaning in that last minute. That last minute, bang, get rid of her. Okay, at the moment you're still leaning. Dugs, great finish. Just remember those first couple of steps, you've got great leg speed, really put them down, okay? Just give yourself that break. Perfect finish though, really nice. The club's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, the people within have been really, really open with um, information, support, um, sharing knowledge. Um, have made it, the transition really, really easy. Um, that's all, it's been great. The girls have been terrific. I mean, they're a really passionate group who really want to get better. Um, so the opportunity to be able to work with a group who are really, really striving to, to get somewhere, um, they just need the guidance and support to do that. And um, they've been absolutely fantastic. That's perfect. Really good education here. Really clear voices, like your voices, that was really spot on. Okay guys, bring it in. Okay. Tight group, tight family. Okay. Good night. Okay, you can see the difference between a Monday night and a Wednesday night. Tonight, less on the legs as far as load, but a hell of a lot more physical way. Okay, so there's a good chance for us to practice our skills, get used to the physicality in that, because we want to be a real high pressure side, okay? We want to be known for that, okay? Our ability to have high pressure on the opposition is what we're going to be remembered for, okay? We want to make sure that when teams play us, they really worry about the heat they're under. Okay, so we're closing down space quickly, really being physical against them, okay, and get that ball back as quickly as we can because then when the ball's in our hands, we're going to have fun and play. Okay, we do the hard work, get the ball back, and then we can have fun and we play. Really, I like the way we worked tonight. That was really, really good, okay? All right, great job. Good job, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three, three. It went in my shirt, then out my shirt. <laughs>well, we're just on our way to uh, pick up Michaela from the airport, so she's about to fly in, so uh, we'll uh, head out there and um, meet her as she gets off the plane, and um, looking forward to seeing that little cheeky smile of hers. Yeah, look, Michaela is obviously um, based in Darwin at the moment, but is originally from the Groot Islands. Really attracted to the way she plays, she just brings that X factor to the game with her speed and a defensive pressure. She does some things on the field, ground level, that not many people can do. And um, look, we've seen signs with her games at NT Thunder that she can really adapt to the next level. And um, you know, she's got some attributes that I think will um, be even stronger when she gets to AFL level. She's making a huge move, and probably a lot of people don't really appreciate how big a move and sacrifice she's making. Hey, how are you? Great to see you. Thank you. Uh, yes, she's pioneering and she knows it's tough and every day she's going through that um, there's no doubt that she's going to be missing the kids, but um, she understands by her coming down here and having a really decent go at it that she's hopefully mapping the pathway for um, future Indigenous girls from up there to, uh, to make the bold move as well. Michaela, how are you finding Melbourne? Um, cold. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's going all right. With the last bit of EFL up in Darwin there, I was lucky enough. I just put my draft in, wasn't really thinking too much of what the outcome would look like, but worked out in the end. In 94, Collingwood have selected Michaela Donna-Roberts from the NT Thunder. <laughs> it was actually, like, mixed motion, really. I, I didn't know whether to cry or be happy. I just had a lot of stuff going through my head at the time. They were sad as well, like, because I told them I'll be away for a while. So they had a little bit to carry. Like, I've had a full-time job afterwards, you know, chasing after three kids. I wanted to get them all into sports and just go on with their life. So I'll try to get in contact with them before they sleep, and that's pretty much every night. And when I have my days off, I'll speak to them just straight after school when they get home. Like, I wanted to bring them all, but it just wasn't going to work out, like, with the whole living situation down here. 
So it was best for me to just come here before Christmas and settle myself down. At the moment, I'm just going with the flow and hopefully I do get some games. And I gave this a chance because I don't think there'll be another mini opportunity for me, especially with three kids. Do you feel like you're blazing a path for other particularly young Indigenous women to be able to follow down here? Um, I hope they can see that or it inspires them because, I don't know, it's bloody hard work <laughs> leaving Darwin, especially the weather up there and just too much for me, but just hanging on, yeah. Um, majority of the people involved with the women's football at the moment are, are still working other jobs, etc. Um, we've got a couple of girls have to start four o'clock, half past four in the morning just so they can get there. Um, work out the way for their employer and then coming afterwards to training and you know they're finishing very late at night as well so the sacrifices that a lot of them are making is un unbelievable like uh, the work that these girls are putting in you know we're in a program that's really starting off and a, a football competition that's really starting off and um, you know everyone's sort of striving to take everything moving forward and um, that takes time and effort and um, yeah everyone's rolling up their sleeves doing that. <laughs>